Huey Red Warriors. For ABS CBN Sports, I'm Boone Gonzalez. Christian Luanzon to tell us what happened in that first half. Coach? It was a game of cancellation, really. If you look at it, you know, NU you know, started out hot in that hot in that first quarter, shooting from the outside, made eight in that first quarter. They finished the half nine of 20. But perimeter points, 33 to 16. And you, you look at the changing defense. I, I, I thought it, it changed really when they went into that zone. What you like about the offense of FEU Boom is that they made outside shot, but outside shots, but they did not settle for outside shots because it created it was created out of guys driving inside the paint, either off a pick and roll or guys just getting drop passes and reacting to the defense, sucking right into them, just making the right play. So after that, NU started out with a full court man to man, and then the adjustment finally came for for for, uh, for Coach Mike to finish the quarter, at least tying the ball game because they they, they had the lead in uh, in the first by eight. FEU also led by eight and right now as you mentioned earlier that's the square one All right uh 11 to 0 run at one point for national u and a 13 to 4 answer by feu you look at the uh, numbers and the perimeter points and all of that coach uh, what stands out uh, obviously uh, as i mentioned it, it negates each other's um numbers you look at perimeter obviously bulldogs have the upper hand but points in the paint 18 and that's because nu is making their outside shots you know, starters 24 for uh, FEU, but the bench, you know, to 18 of the 28, you know, came from Matt Aquino and John Lloyd Clemente, JLC. So I think in the second half, you can expect, you know, defense to sort of like pick up and sort of like extend maybe, especially for FEU, since uh, NU has been hitting their outside shots. So if you're NU, you want to put the ball in the deck and put pressure on, uh, on that FEU defense at the rim. Just for perspective for our audience, those 33 points of National University, 18.8 lang ang kanilang average going into this match. So they've already almost doubled that number, doubled that number. The aforementioned John Lloyd Clemente leading the back with 10 points. And then uh, si uh, Richard Escoto, maagang pumutok sa first quarter with 8 points. Points. All right, let's uh, hear it from, uh, well, almost from the horse's mouth. Yung susunod na ano, ang ating uh, courtside reporter who was in there in the dugout with Coach Olsen Rosella and the team. Sydney Crespo, tell us uh, what went down. Well, in Christian, it was raining threes from the NU side of the court, and Coach O addressed it immediately by saying, It's okay, all we have to do is challenge these shots and stick to our defense. Now, NU may be shooting well from the outside, but FU's mission in the second half is to stick to their defense and to be ready for certain adjustments or in their own words we just stayed there now it was very evident also on the bench and inside the dugout that they're having better communication now compared to their game against ue now with their faster tempo and energetic start i think fu now has uh, i mean learned from their mistake against ue Booming christian all right let's see if they can keep it up for the rest of the half and come up with a win today. Okay, what are your thoughts on what Sid said? Well, I like how disciplined the defense was, even though, you, you know, FEU's defense, you cannot overreact. We mentioned this earlier. Last in the league coming into the game in terms of three-point shooting. So, obviously, you're going to give that up, and you cannot overreact to that. But I think the third quarter is going to be a gauge for Coach Olsen. If they continue to shoot the lights out, and if it's a close ball game, you can expect an adjustment in terms of pressuring up the ball in that fourth quarter. All right, let's find out from the other side the month. Osapi natin si Dip Tipianco. Tell us what went down there in the locker room at halftime, Dip. Yes, Boomin Christian. Unlike their last game against Adamson, wherein they shot only 11%, the NU Bulldogs are lights out from three. But that is not enough to make Coach Jamaica happy. Dahil pagpasok palang ng dugout, he was shouting and asking everyone, "Why am I not happy?" And it's because they are playing selfish basketball. They could have been up by six or seven points, pero nga hindi sila nagpapasahan. And he was talking about Dave Ildefonso's one-on-three drive and Sean Ildefonso's jump shots. Now in the second half, he wants the boys to distribute the ball and look for the best shot possible. Balik sa niyo, Boomin Christian. Thank you, Dip. Those six to seven points that you're talking about may not mean a lot, may not sound a lot, but at the end game, that might be the difference. And uh, I think that is what Coach Jamaik is what talking about, is what he was talking about earlier. Welcome, welcome.